Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to talk about the announcement that DJI made last Tuesday where they introduced the brand new RoboMasters S1 educational robot. Now if you're a fan of the channel, you know I put a clip together in advance of that release with my predictions on what I thought they'd be releasing. I spent a lot of time looking at the footage, slowing it down, enhancing it, and in that clip I described a terrestrial vehicle along the lines of a rover that had mechanum wheels that was programmable and it would probably look a lot like the RoboMaster products. And it turns out I was right on the money. So DJI released this brand new RoboMasters S1 product on Tuesday and I'm giggling because I cannot wait to get my hands inside this box, tear it open and start assembling it. Now, what I'm gonna do in the clip today is open up the product, which I haven't looked at yet, explain what some of the components are. Now, I think there's a million pieces inside here, which makes it even cooler, because I love putting stuff together. I'm gonna, when I finish this clip, I'm gonna sit down with my son, who loves this kind of project as well, and we're gonna put this thing together, and I'm gonna film all that. I'll probably speed it up so I don't spend three hours with a video, but I'm sure you wanna see how the thing goes together, because if you're gonna assemble your own, you're gonna want a, a little bit of a guide of somebody else doing it, so that if we make mistakes, you can avoid those mistakes going forward. But enough about that. I have to say this is an incredibly exciting day because it's Father's Day coming up and you could not ask for a better gift than this to spend time with my son putting this thing together and having fun sort of investigating it together and programming it and running around the yard. It's just the best of days. But anyway, the product itself is it's marketed as an educational robot. And I think that may be a little bit off the mark, even though it's a wonderful product for you to learn with your son and for the schools to use to educate kids on engineering and mechanics and robotics and programming and all the other wonderful things that our world is made of nowadays. I think it's also gonna be a cool toy to play with because I've got a lot of plans for this thing to kind of work it into videos going forward. I'm already thinking about mounting my Osmo Pocket on it and running it around the yard to see how well it does a sort of a terrestrial shoot if I'm on a skateboard or something riding down the driveway. I got all kinds of ideas. But anyway, today's an unboxing video. So let me open up the box and show you what's inside. Now I have to tell you as well, I ordered this literally 10 minutes after the announcement. They took the payment, they shipped it the next day, and it arrived here today. Now today's Friday, so that was Tuesday to Friday. That's pretty amazing coming out of uh, China to get a product to me that quickly. Anyway, let's get inside the box. I'm talking enough here. I want to get inside and see what's going on. So let's see, there's some tape there. Looks like some tape here. <laughs> good day, very good day. All right. All right, let's get this box open. All right, so inside the box, we've got some foam. <laughs> so there's, <laughs> there's a manual and there's a bunch of stuff in there. Oh man, there's just too much here to even take in. All right, so let me just lift this guy out first. And again, I'm gonna do some close-ups of this stuff, but essentially what you've got in this top tray is it's gonna all spill out if I, if I tip it forward, but you've got the mechanum wheels, which are not assembled, which is pretty cool, because I thought those would come assembled. So you get a chance to put the mechanum wheels together. This looks like the control unit that's probably programmable. Uh, there's a charger, looks like a charger. There's another control unit. Uh, this is interesting. What is that? <laughs> oh. oh man, this is a, <laughs> they give you a DJI screw kit here that has all the screws and other things inside of it. A bunch of components down there. Looks like the brushless motors along the top. So you're getting a lot of stuff right there. We put that aside. Now there's a compartment in the bottom, another piece of foam there, oh, <laughs> and another tray. Oh man, oh man. This is the actual body of the robot. So let me get this out real quick. It's really in there. I'm gonna rip the box. All right, let me get the box out of the way. So there's the bottom tray, and what you've got is the chassis of the robot. It looks like the turret as well. This is the cannon. I guess there's some gel uh, BBs that go in there for the turret. There's some speed controllers, looks like, down there. I'm not sure exactly what that is. And there's your camera, because it's got an FBV camera on it as well. So all the stuff you'll need to assemble this comes in these two trays with a ton of instructions, which I covered up over here. So I'm sure this packet has got extensive instructions in it that explain exactly how to assemble this thing. But <laughs> this is the kind of project I live for. At any rate, uh, I'm gonna spend some time putting this thing together over the next day or two with my son. I'll record that and I'll probably speed it up because you don't wanna watch three hours of video clips. But in essence, what you've got is a rover that has a body about that large. And, and I'm telling you, this thing is like bare bones assembled at this point. So you're gonna have to start from scratch to put all this stuff together, which is the coolest part of this project, um, but about that size. And just picture it with the mechanum wheels on it about that size. So physically, you're about a foot long. It's probably gonna be off the ground about six inches, and it looks maybe five or six inches tall. So it's like the perfect size to program to run around inside the house or you run around outside the yard and, and do all kinds of cool things with it. Um, but it, essentially, I expected it to be somewhat assembled coming through and it looks like they're giving you every opportunity to spend time with your family and loved ones 
which I will be doing, taking full advantage of that, putting this guy together over the next couple of days. Now, I will say one other thing about this. I know that a lot of people that are following DJI are thinking, what are they doing introducing a robot? I mean, they're a drone company, they're a video company, they've got cameras out. What's this all about? Well, the honest truth is that the engineering effort in the United States over the last couple of years in education has really exploded. I was on the school board for a bunch of years. We had a very uh, robust STEAM program at our school, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And as part of that STEAM program, we had a robotics club. And robotics ran competitions every year in the U.S. for the first league. My son was involved in that, spent a lot of time putting robots together and programming robots. And I can tell you from a parent's perspective, when a kid gets involved in that kind of activity, not only does it keep them busy, but it keeps them thinking about that in their off hours and different ways they can program that. And that just expands their minds tremendously, especially in this high tech world that we live today. So a product like this, even though I know it's not a cheap product, it's about a $500 robot. So you might look at that and go, man, that's a lot of money for a toy. And it is, but it's more than a toy. It's an educational product that you can actually reprogram. I'm sure there'll be attachments coming out for it and other things you can use it for down the road. But more importantly, when you compare it to other things you might be considering for your kids, you know, game consoles, tablets, phones, whatever you might be buying for your kids, something like this will set them up for the rest of their lives. It'll really get them, if they've got a, a leanings towards it, it'll get them involved in engineering in a way that at a very young age will just pay these unintended consequences, very, very positive things over the long haul. It gives you structured thinking. It gives you a way to approach problems from a, a statistical perspective and a mathematical perspective. And I, I can't tell you all the different ways that it's blessed my life and blessed our family's life. So I don't want to sound like I'm pitching for DJI. I mean, you make your own decisions if it makes sense for you. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for a present for your kids, this looks like a wonderful thing to actually add uh, to the family wish list if you can afford to put something like that in your kids' hands. But anyway, that's enough about the product. I am <laughs> I'm sitting here beside myself just waiting to get my hands on this thing and tear it open and start playing with it. So that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions about what I've covered in this particular clip, please drop them in the comments below. I can't stop touching this thing. I just think it's that cool. So here's the brushless motors. These are, uh, oh man, this is so cool. So it's got connectors and everything on it. All right, I'm going to get into this in a little bit. If you have any questions about anything I've covered today, which wasn't a whole lot except for the unboxing, drop them in those comments below. Uh, you'll see a lot of clips about this product. I'll be doing the assembly of it. We'll do some programming examples. I'll show you running around the yard. I've got some cool ideas of how to get in a little bit of trouble with this around the house. So we're going to have a lot of fun over the next couple of weeks. And that's pretty much it. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you find these kind of clips valuable. I know this was a short one today, but I wanted to get this done so I could actually get into the building of the robot. And I will have that on the channel very, very soon. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, <laughs> happy flying. Woohoo! <laughs>